Um, hello everyone. Um, today I just want to uh, quickly take you through uh, the specimen tubes that we have uh, available on the world. Um, I'll start with the general things. Uh, the first thing is that uh, these uh, tubes have different kinds of chemicals in them. Um, so when you are asked to draw blood, you can't draw in one bottle and then pour uh, blood in the other bottles. That's generally um, not allowed because you are going to contaminate uh, some samples with chemicals that are not appropriate uh, for, um, uh, for the other samples. Then the other general thing you are supposed to remember is that of course uh, some of you will be lucky enough um, uh, to work in different places and so the color coding for these bottles for instance for Europe might be uh, different uh, from the international coding but um, yeah what we are using in our facility is the like the international agreed coding so uh, that's what we have so the point is that um, you just need to uh, look at what chemical is in the bottle just read make sure you read especially if you are in the other places and so on so that you don't get um, things mixed up so those are the general principles so we will start with um, um, I think let's start with a red one so a red one is um, is a plain bottle um, it does no additives but these days some of them are plastic so they add silica um, particles inside uh, so that the the sample can can clot or the blood can clot so um, this is a plain bottle in our uh, facilities in Zambia would normally use this for um, uh, for cross match because the serum uh, is up there and the blood there's a clot down there so the serum can be picked up and you can use that to cross match uh, blood so that's what this is used for but you can use it for other things that need serum you can use it for an HIV test you can use it for um, hepatitis uh, tests and so on and so forth. But the main use that we do for this um, uh, bottle is um, a cross matching and so on. Okay, so then we have this uh, yellow top bottle. The yellow top bottle is very similar to the, to the red one. It's very similar to the red one. The main difference is that um, in the red one, in this uh, yellow one, there's a liquid at the bottom. I hope you can see that liquid. That's a uh, kind of a serum separator uh, a liquid. So what happens is that when it's centrifuged in the lab, um, this serum separator lies in between uh, the clot and the serum. So it means that you get a better yield um, of the serum and um, uh, the serum is not contaminated with some red blood cells. So it's clear because of this uh, serum separator, which is in between the clot and the serum on top. So this uh, tube, yeah, can kind of be used um, similar to the other one but this one um, any test that you can do in the serum can also be done in this one uh, you know you can do uh, creatinine you can do um, beta hcg you can use some thyroid hormones uh, you can do you can use it for some lipids um, you can use it to do uh, CA 125, which is something we do as a tumor marker in OBS and Guide. So this is um, uh, about uh, this tube. The next tubes that we are going to look at have um, some anticoagulants in them. So we'll start with um, this one. So this um, is a blue top bottle. It's um, 
it's a coagulation uh, profile bottle really that's what you have to remember it has um sodium citrate uh in it you can see i don't know if yeah you can see that liquid there that's sodium citrate in there and you need um to know that sodium citrate as um the amount of sodium citrate is kind of uh, specific so usually you need to fill this bottle in up to the top and um the idea is that sodium citrate binds uh, to calcium in a predictable in a predictable way so much that when um, this sodium citrate is there to prevent blood from clotting but uh, when this bottle gets to the lab the additive they add to the sample they add a specific amount of calcium to this um bottle so that it reverses um uh, the effects of sodium citrate so that now the blood can clot then they can do all those tests for clotting in the in the lab so they can do um, prothrombin time they can do activated um, partial thromboplastin time they can do fibrinogen uh, you can use this bottle if you are requesting for INR you can use this bottle when you are requesting for for D dimers because the sodium citrate amount that is added to this bottle, um, uh, its effect on on uh, clotting can be reversed by just adding a specific amount of um, uh, calcium to this bottle. So that's about the blue top bottle, the um, additive that is in this bottle and what it is used for. The next bottle is um, a grey top bottle that we are going to talk about. So a grey top bottle is um, normally uh, used for um, doing um, blood sugars. It is also can be used uh, for measuring lactate levels when you are suspecting um, some acidosis. In a patient lactic acidosis and so on so you use it to measure lactate but the main use on our words is to measure blood sugar for the word the additive in this bottle is sodium fluoride um, sodium fluoride uh, inhibits uh, glycolysis you know when you take blood the blood cells that are in the in the bottle are still alive you have white blood cells and they can use up the glucose that is in the sample. So um, sodium fluoride makes um, uh, this, uh, makes, inhibits uh, glycolysis so that the amount of sugar that is in the bottle uh, remains there as, um, as, as time goes so it's the sodium fluoride in the inhibits an enzyme called uh, enolase so that enzyme um, once it's inhibited prevents glycolysis from happening and therefore we can get lactate levels and we can get uh, proper glucose um, levels from uh, from this bottle so that's about uh, this bottle um, the next bottle is um, the purple top bottle this bottle has um, uh, EDTA. Um, I'm not going to attempt to tell you what EDTA means. The important thing that EDTA uh, also binds calcium, but in a very unpredictable way. You remember that we said um, the blue uh, top bottle has uh, sodium citrate, which binds calcium in a predictable way and therefore prevents coagulation. We know um, calcium is... Uh, uh, factor four in the coagulation profile so sodium citrate binds uh, calcium in a predictable way EDTA binds um, uh, calcium in a very unpredictable way so it's very difficult to reverse uh, to know how much calcium you need to add to this bottle to to make the blood clot again so this cannot be used for coagulation profile in that for that reason then the other um, 
issue is that this a bottle this is potassium EDTA kind of so it means that um, this bottle has a lot of potassium this emphasizes the point I made at the beginning that you can't remove blood from this bottle and pour it in another bottle for instance you can't um, get blood from this bottle and pour it in the green top bottle because there's a lot of potassium and therefore you're going to overestimate the amount of potassium uh, that that you you want to uh, measure if you pour the blood which was in this uh, bottle into this uh, specimen bottle so it's important to to know that so this is a hematology bottle really the other good thing about edta is that it um, does not um, disturb the morphology of uh, cells so it means that um, that's why we use this uh, bottle for first of all a complete blood count because we can see all the cells we can count all the cells they have not been deformed they have not been damaged we can use it for a platelet count we can use it for a differential count um, we can use this bottle uh, for uh, glycosylated hemoglobin uh, we can use it for a direct uh, combs test as well because the cells are there and they have not been disturbed uh, we can um, we can use it for those uh, uh, PCR uh, tests because the cells are there and they have not uh, been disturbed so that's about um, this uh, bottle then the last bottle we are going to use is a um, green bottle uh, this bottle has um, lithium heparin coated into it and we know um, that the heparin does not disturb um, uh, that is in this uh, bottle does not disturb function of um, of the cells so uh, this bottle uh, just remember that it is it's going to be used for those um, parameters for cell function so liver function tests we can use it for uh, kidney function tests and so on uh, you can use it for urea you can use it for um, creatinine as well uh, because the um, blood is not clotting in there and this um, additive does not disturb uh, cell function uh, uh, parameters so uh, that is what we need to know about blood specimen bottles uh, thank you for listening and um, we'll see you in the next one